Hi, welcome to another Interval Magic video tutorial. I'm Tom. Today I'd like to show you the swivel cut. Now the swivel cut looks like this. Why do the swivel cut? Because it's cool. It looks neat. You can do it during a card game to impress your friends, or if you're a magician, you just, it can add to your uh, repertoire of cards sleight of hand. So the swivel cut again looks like this. And from this angle, like this. And from this angle, like this. Yes, cards done at certain angles do look different, so you have to kind of look in the mirror and experiment with that. So the swivel cut is just that. You're swiveling the top half 180 degrees, and then you plop what used to be the bottom half on top of what used to be the top half, okay? So, you start out by using an overhand grip. That is the right middle and ring fingers are on the outer short edge. Your right thumb is on the inner short edge, like this. Uh, your right index finger kind of rests on top of the deck. Your pinky doesn't do much of anything during this cut. So, what happens is your other hand, you can, by the way, you can reverse hands if this is easier. This description, you know, describes it with me holding it in my right hand. Left, first finger. Uh, some people describe this and they tell you to, to contact the upper half with your index finger, like the pad of the front of it, like this. And then they tell you to swivel it, okay? I like that, that's okay, but I like uh, better my version. I start with the back of my index finger. That way it already puts me in the position to plop the second half down. It kind of falls and I'm already in position instead of having to rotate your entire hand like this. You see the difference? You know, really one is not any better than the other necessarily. I just like my version better. I'm a little biased, what can I say? So, I use the back of my index finger to kind of catch the upper half of the deck, the top half of the deck. It takes a little bit of a knack, but you kind of, you, you approach it diagonally like this, and you kind of push forward on just that top half, pushing up a little bit, and it'll break. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly half. Roughly half is fine. Then what happens is your left hand lets the deck pivot on the, on the right middle finger, which acts kind of like a fulcrum, so what, like this. And look what happens. I'm doing it slowly because actions speak louder than words in this case. So when that pivots 180 degrees, that half falls into your left hand, and then your right hand plops that half on top. So once again, your right index finger, the back of it, right about there, catches the top half, pushes it up, forward, and then pivots it around using the right finger as the fulcrum, lets that half fall into the left hand. This half goes on top of that, and that is the swivel cut. Now, as a follow-up to the swivel cut, um, I came up with a shuffle, very simple. Uh, this shuffle sort of ends like, I don't know if you do a one-hand shuffle, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. But uh, the swivel cut, I call this the swivel shuffle or the swivel cut shuffle. And what it is is, I, and someone had to have thought of this before, someone had to have thought of this. But you basically do a swivel cut and instead of plopping that half down, you hold that half and then you butt the edges of the deck together. You weave them, I'm doing this slower than I should, but you weave them together and then you do what looks like a one hand shuffle at the end, like that. So. You swivel the deck, but don't complete the cut. And then you do what is called a dovetail shuffle or a weave shuffle. You butt the edges together, tilt down a little bit, and this takes a knack, but they, you'll find that they go together pretty well after a lot of practice. Then you swivel the packets inward toward your left thumb. When they're about that far away, then your right finger uh, index finger puts pressure on top. That allows you to re-grip these two halves by stretching your thumb, extending it all the way across those two halves. Then your right forefinger pushes down and you kind of bend up in preparation for the bridge. Then you let go and there's a bridge. Simple as that. Well, I shouldn't say simple as that. It takes some practice. So there you have it. You've learned a swivel cut. And then you've learned a shuffle that you can do right after the swivel cut, like this. 
If you have any questions, email me, tom at intervalmagic.com. Thanks for watching.